Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with principles of inheritance and variations. So before going through the chapter, we are going to talk about few important terms so that we'll understand the concepts easily. So let's start with the same. This chapter is coming under the genetics and you know this person he is Gregor Mendel who is known as the father of genetics. So the very first term which we are going to talk about here is genetics. Genetics term was given by W. Batson. The study of inheritance, heredity, variation of characters is termed as genetics. Or we can collectively use this term for the study of heredity and variation. Okay. As the term is genetics, so this is related to genes and chromosomes because genes are responsible for the inheritance of the characters. The next term is inheritance. Inheritance means taking those characters. Transmissions of the character from the parents to the progeny is known as inheritance. And this inheritance is going to make the basis of heredity now variation variation means the differences among the individual the differences between the parents and the offsprings like we people are similar to our parents but not exactly like copy of them we have few differences so that differences comes under variation the next one is character Character is what? Like here we have talked about that the study of the inheritance, heredity, variation of character. Now characters are what? The feature which is going to be passed among the parents and offsprings. Okay, that particular feature which is going to pass from the parent to their offspring. Like the eye color, the hair color, the skin color and many more. Now, the next term is trait. What is the meaning of trait? Trait means the variations of character. It means the forms of character we can say. Like we have discussed eye color is one character. Now, we have different eye colors. We can have black, brown, blue. These are known as traits. Okay. Now, we are going to talk about few more terms. The next is alleles or this is also known as allelomorphs. Now, alleles are what? Alleles are the alternative forms of the genes. Now, genes are located on chromosomes. Okay. One gene is responsible for one character. Fine. Now, according to that, as we have discussed, that characters have different forms. So, the forms of the genes is known as allele. For example, this capital T which is going to represent the tall and tall trait and small t represent um, that dwarf trait. These are the two different forms of a gene. Okay, that is responsible for the character called height. So, Alleles are nothing else. They are the forms. They are the alternative forms of a gene. Which are located on the same position on the homologous chromosomes. Okay. These are going to regulate a pair of contrasting trait. Okay. Like different traits. The next is homozygous. Homo means same. So the condition in which the chromosome pair carries similar allele of a gene is known as homozygous and the homozygous is also known as the pure or true breedings pure lines or true breedings so we have read in great length about these capital t small t y and all so when this pair is containing both the alphabets which we are used to represent the trait 
or the allele when they are same that is termed as homozygous as you can see over here homozygous this is also homozygous this is also homozygous fine the next is heterozygous hetero means different the condition in which the chromosome pair carries this similar allele of a gene for example this capital t represent tall the small t represent dwarf so we have two different alleles okay so two different alleles it means heterozygous condition okay the next term that is dominant character now we have read in class 10th about law of dominance okay there we have used these terms dominant recessive so what is this dominant character the character which is expressed in heterozygous condition is indicates with capital letter okay it means if it is written like this capital t small t this is a heterozygous condition and if it this capital t is capable of bringing the character it means this is the dominant one okay the one which is going to express in heterozygous condition the recessive the character which is suppressed in heterozygous condition it means this one is suppressed by this capital t so this is the recessive one the small t it indicated with a small letter okay so recessive which is get suppressed and dominant which is going to express okay next is the phenotype phenotype is related to physical expression so when we talk about the physical characters which are visible to us that is termed as a phenotype physical expression of the character for example the color of eye you can see the color of eye but you are not knowing which particular alleles the genes are responsible for it okay so that is a phenotype the height of the plant the color of the flower the shape of the seed the all come under the phenotypes genotype the genetic makeup the genetic constitution of the character like for the phenotype tall which particular gene is responsible this can be responsible small t and capital t also can be responsible so these are the two possible genotype for the phenotype okay so genotype is the what which genes are responsible for it genetic makeup the next is hybrid hybrid is an individual produced by the mating of genetically unlike parent okay that is termed as a hybrid so thank you we are going to discuss the rest of the thing in our next video lecture